Hi there. In this sample, I will demonstrate how to create an Apigee integrated developer portal for your API product. Apigee's integrated developer portal is a built-in solution where developers can learn about and test your APIs. It serves as the central hub for your API consumers and is incredibly easy to provision. Before we begin, be sure to read the intro sections and note the prerequisites. You'll be able to follow along with the instructions either in Cloud Shell or right here in this repository. In this video, we'll follow along with the Cloud Shell. Let's get started. This will download the Apigee Samples GitHub repository code into your Cloud Shell editor. First, we need to CD into the correct folder. Next, update the environment file with your own Apigee information. Then, source your environment file. If needed, you can ensure that you are signed into the correct account with this command. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Run this command to deploy the API proxy and product. Note, however, that this command will not create your developer portal. We will have to do that separately and manually. Once that finishes, we'll navigate to the next page and follow the instructions there. On the next page in the tutorial, click on the link in step 1 to access the Apigee console to create your portal. Make sure that you are in the correct Apigee organization before clicking into Publish and then Portals. Click Get Started. Use the name Sample Integrated Developer Portal and select Create. You'll soon be redirected to the home configuration page for your new developer portal. But our portal needs APIs. Let's add them now. Navigate to the API catalog page and click the plus symbol to add an API to your portal. Choose your own API product. Give it a description and make sure that it's published. You can leave most of the settings as they are, but you'll want to add OpenAPI API documentation. The documentation YAML file can be found back at, in your Cloud Shell editor, so navigate there now. Download the integrated developer portal.yaml file. Its content was updated while running the deploy script to reflect your Apigee domain. Navigate back to your Apigee tab and upload the YAML file that you just downloaded. Scroll up and save your portal API. Now that we've got our portal set up and ready to go, let's test it. In the top right corner of this page, you'll notice a button that says Live Portal. Click it. Once inside your portal, click Sign In. Next click Create an Account. Enter in your personal information. Your email address will be sent a confirmation link, so make sure that it is capable of receiving email. Go to that email and click the confirmation link in order to enable your developer account. Note. Creating your account here will also create a developer account in Apigee as well. Upon opening the link from your confirmation email, you'll be redirected back to your portal homepage, where you'll once again need to sign in. After you do that, click on your account to open the drop down menu and select Apps. On the next page, click Plus New App. You can name your app Sample App and be sure to enable your API product before clicking Save. Note, Creating an app here also creates an app in Apigee as well. Next, navigate to your APIs page and select your API. Click the Authorize button, and on the pop-up, select your sample app from the drop-down menu. This will authorize any request we make from the portal with an API key from the app that we just created. After this, click the forward slash get path. This represents an endpoint in the proxy we just deployed earlier. Once you click Execute, you should see a 200 message. That means that the request was a success. Let's navigate back to our Cloud Shell window. Now that we've gone through all the steps to create our developer portal and to test it out, you can optionally delete the resources that we've created in this sample by following the steps below. First, we'll manually delete the resources that we manually created. So back in the Apigee console, navigate to the Developers page and delete the developer account that you created earlier. 
Next, navigate to the Portals page and delete the portal that we created earlier. Enter Delete. And finally, go back to the Cloud Shell window and run the cleanup script to delete the resources that our deploy script created at the beginning of this sample. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have not signed up for Apogee yet, use the top link. If you have any questions, please visit the Apogee community.